Good afternoon, everybody, from the DHL Stadium in Cape Town. It's the final pool match, round 14 of the 2023 Currier Cup. DHL Western Province hosting the Sell Sea Sharks. The Toyota Cheetahs have gone top of the Curry Cup log on 51 points with their bonus point win at Loftus Fairsfeld in Pretoria. But with a win here, the Sell Sea Sharks can go to 52 and guarantee themselves top spot on the Curry Cup log going into the semi-finals next weekend. Coming into this round, we already knew that the, the Sharks and the Cheetahs would host semi-finals, but now the Sharks need to finish top to host a potential final a couple of weeks from now. Kuh and Bosch not finding touch, finding Clayton Blomakis, Zwellendaba away to his right. Brought down by Butulezi, but a quick ruck ball. No! Tennyson running onto it. Again, it's good ruck speed from Western Province and Blomakis nudging it through for Leland's us to chase and Werner Koch. Well, getting back to do the hard work. Here's BJ Dixon and over he goes. Yeah, we mentioned it two minutes ago. Sloppy play by the Sharks and again here, Werner Koch. We know what he was thinking, but unfortunately the execution not good at all. Keeping the pressure on themselves as the Sharks and that guy, Ben Jason Dixon, Great little finish by the lock for it. I don't know how many in World Rugby would have been able to finish that off in the way that it did. Van Heerden taking okay. on Krobla. <laughs> Matia. Well, a man taken without the ball, but it's play on Edelbrecht for Daimani. And Hachiba Daimani in for a third try for DHL Western Province. Excellent advantage played by the referee as well after Clayton Blomakis had been tackled without the ball. Again, great play by the backs of Western Province and the forwards as well. Nietzsche Fushia with a deft little touch there. And then Daimani on the wing. He's so familiar on the wing. Hachiba, Daimani for the try. Dixon down for Daimani and Finter back for Daimani. Time off, time off. Same as the last one. I don't have a downward pressure, um, so I'm going on field decision, no try. So we still got control of the ball. Yes, yes. And then there's downward and pressure. And downward pressure there, ne? Correct. Agreed. Yeah. So we go, we take over 10 on field decision and we award the try. That's correct. Yeah, thank you. So that's a couple of tries now for the eighth man. Fine. And it makes Daimani an overachiever. Then De Vett, away for Daimani, Matia, and De Vett, Mazibuko. Let go, let go, thank you, let go. The home side's turn to build through a few phases. Matia. De Vett and Blomakis. Nell. Engelbrecht, and now Lielinsas quickly into his stride. De Vett to his inside. Pops it up for Nell. And then for Ruben van Heerden. Stretches and scores. I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee slide quite like that. That was impressive from Paul Mente. Yeah, and it'll be a, a sweet try for Ruben van Heerden against his former teammates, the Sharks. Nice play again in the outside channels from Western Province. Leon Linzas, who has not seen a lot of ball today, but good play by him. Ruan Nell not seeing the, the defenders come across. But that man, you Ruben van Heerden, back there to support, sliding just far enough to get over the line. Furry, Fleurs. Stop. Oh, the bounce of the now. ball here. It's a kind one for Luke Berger. Oh, a little step from Bromakis. Got rid of Fleurs and almost got rid of himself, but quickly back into his stride. Ruben van Heerden is skipped. And then Jared Taylor. Paul the vet running the support line. He's not going to need him. Taylor is over. A fourth no, try for him no, in this year's Curry Cup. Okay, all right. Wonderful counter attack sparked by Clayton Blomakis from inside his own 22. Yeah, fantastic try by Western Province. They've scored a few today. This one probably the, the best. Blomikis slipping, sliding, 
breaking the tackle of Naval de Fleers, and then the pace, weighing up all his options. He had the pace of Jared Taylor, the winger, Paul De Vett on the outside as well, almost not making it to the line, but getting there at the end, a fantastic try by Western Province. Last hit, Scara. Last hit. Last Yet hit. another carry snuffed out by Western Province. Lost. Stay on the line, stay on the line. Just relentless. Eventually away by Farid for Bosch. And into the corner. Eventually goes no, Marnus no, 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 Pokita. No, no, no. No, sorry, he apologized. Sorry, sorry, thank you. He apologized. He's apologizing. He's apologizing. He's apologizing. He's apologizing. Well, Hebron Krobler at the base of a ruck. But uh, this time, no question. Yeah, that's silly. Silly it's, after the try was scored uh, by Jared Taylor. Yeah. After the try, I've got a try scored. Then after the try, I've just have a Western Province player charging in. Yes. Um, can you please just clear the facts for me? Yeah, deliberate act. Player is on the ground. He charges in and then he hits the player on the head. However, the level of danger for me is low. Hence, I'm going penalty and a yellow card. Again, um, do you agree with that? You agree? Okay. So, it's a yellow card view. It's been a, an excellent performance from DHL Western Province. Difficult for them going into the game knowing that they were not able to earn themselves a playoff place but they scored six tries to just one from the sharks full time at the dhl stadium in cape town it's dhl western province 44 Celsi sharks five so confirmation then of the way it ends on the curry cup standings the toyota cheetahs topping the log on 51 points after their bonus point win earlier today at loftus first felt against the vodacom bulls so it'll be a repeat of that fixture in one of the two semi-finals but uh, the Toyota Cheetahs will host in Bloemfontein and then the South Sea Sharks will host the Airlink Pumas in Durban.